I'm Adam and thanks for stopping by and in this video I'm going to see if the VC64 joystick will work on a Windows machine running Vice, just in case you hadn't guessed by the somewhat dramatic intro. So let's go ahead now and download Vice. To download the Vice emulator, open up a web browser and navigate to vice.pokefinder.org. Down here you'll find the latest builds for Windows. I'm going to take the zip file and then once downloaded, extract that zip file. And simply run x64sc.exe to get the emulator working. Next we need to attach the joystick to the emulated C64. To do this select settings and then settings, input devices, joystick and then we can specify which input device is attached to joystick port number one. In this case I'm selecting the C64 joystick. Now I need to run my game. The game I want to run in this case is Doc Cosmos, as it's one that I ran in a previous video. To do this, I must somehow attach the cartridge file to this emulated machine. And again, this is done through the menu system. So I must select File, Attach Cartridge Image, select Doc Cosmos, and Attach. And then the game will load. If you find that the fire buttons are having no effect at starting the game, this is because the joystick is plugged into the wrong port on the C64. In that case, we can just come up to Settings, Settings, Joystick, and Swap Joysticks. Okay, so just pressing the fire button will now start the game. So there we have it. Let's just turn this down a wee bit so that it's not picked up by my microphone too much. And there we have it. So we're playing Dot Cosmos, which was written this year, 2019, and we're playing it on Windows under the Vice emulator with the C64 joystick, which you can pick up for now £20. Is this better? more convenient? Why don't you let me know your take on this in the comments down below. Well, that was the C64 joystick connected to a Windows machine running Vice. Whilst the overall user experience is not the same and as fluid as when using one of these, it is a darn sight cheaper at just £20 versus £110 for the complete VC64 experience. So why don't you let me know in the comments down below what you're going to do. Something like this versus the full experience. If you've not seen my VC64 video, then the link will be appearing up here right now and down in the description. To catch more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon to stay notified when I upload new videos.